We all have our preferences, the things we like, our favorite song, favorite team, our favorite color, but my favorites might not be yours. So who chooses the song in the car, what game to watch, or what color of ink to use right now? Anytime you get people in a room together who want different things, it can get messy really fast. It happens because we're different, and at the root of it, we're selfish. No matter how big or small the issue is, we're usually more interested in being right than being together. The thing is, we were made to be together. This isn't going away. Our lives are full of community. Families, friends, teams, churches. And at the end of the day, community isn't about having the friends we want. It's not about doing what we like. It's not even about having fun or being nice. Community is about Jesus. See, when we connect with Jesus first, he connects us to his people. He's not just our rallying cry, he is the glue that holds us together. And he does so for a reason. Jesus says this in John 13, 35, By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. When we pursue Jesus and let him bring us together, he creates something beautiful out of us. Something that the world is going to notice. So. Are you ready to let Jesus show you how to move past liking things to loving people? Because that's what community is all about. Hey everyone, hey, Pastor Matt here, uh, enjoying this beautiful weather and uh, want to give a brief word of encouragement and also give a couple announcements here. And uh, so, as you saw the video, that's a great introduction to what we're going to be focusing on the next four weeks, this idea of community. We're going to be providing uh, this devotional. It's four weeks long, uh, really focusing on what it looks like to live in community. And uh, so I think we really need this. As, as we've been looking at what's going on in our, in our country, in our world, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of disagreements. Um, you, you scroll through social media, uh, you watch the news, you, uh, yeah, go on the YouTube comments. There's a lot, just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, we see a lot of fighting in the world. And sometimes this even leaks into the church. And uh, God has not called us to this. Um, he's called us to be one and the, the show love to one another. And uh, in John 13, 35, Jesus said this, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So a great verse. Um, and we would all agree, you know, we need to love one another. And uh, we would say that out loud, but it's a lot harder to put it into practice. So really hope that this would be an encouragement for all of us. Um, we all need to grow in this area, including myself. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to providing that for you. Uh, you can pick this up in person tonight uh, if you're coming to the movie night. Or you can also sign up online and we'd be glad to uh, deliver it to you. So um, we want to let you know that's what's happening here. So while we have you uh, on video, I want us to open up to Philippians chapter 2. Uh, if you're new and joining us, we've been going through Philippians uh, verse by verse. And uh, last, last week, we really focused on one verse, verse 27, where Paul challenged uh, the church in Philippi to live a life that was worthy of the gospel. And so in chapter 2, it's really focusing on this idea of humility and unity in the body of Christ. And so let me, let me read. It says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then... Okay, let me stop there. Those are kind of rhetorical questions. They demand an answer, so it's kind of an obvious uh, answer. Okay, so have you have any, had any encouragement from being united with Christ? Well, if you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, the answer is yes. So... Uh, if any comfort from his love. Well, have you received any comfort from his love? Yes. Any common sharing in the Spirit? Yes. If any tenderness and compassion, have you received that from the Lord? Yes. Okay, great. 
then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you look to the interests of others. That's a great challenge for us. We're not going to do an in-depth Bible study tonight, but just I encourage you to read through those verses. Uh, lots of things to talk about unity, and uh, unity doesn't mean uniformity. Uh, we're going to have disagreements on some things. We're not always going to see eye to eye, but God still expects us to be one in spirit, one in mind and purpose, striving side by side for the gospel. And so I hope this will be encouragement for us. Take some time to read through those verses and really pick it apart. As we wrap up tonight, I'm going to ask a series of just different questions to get us thinking about this idea of community. And uh, are going to see some positive things and maybe some things that we need to work on. And so ask yourself, okay, which ones are true of me? And so this is not meant to be discouraging, but more of an encouragement. And so ask yourself uh, these questions here. Do I have many kinds of relationships in my life? Uh, do I have mentors, people pouring into my life? Am I pouring into others' lives? Uh, do I have accountability? Um, how about this? Am I a peacemaker? Okay, good question. How about this? Am I an encourager? Do I submit to spiritual authority? Am I inclusive and welcoming? Do I promote unity in my church and youth group? Do I understand my role to minister to the world? Am I authentic in my living? So do I represent my church uh, in and outside of the building? Uh, do I know and use my spiritual gifts? And am I serving in the church? So great questions. Hopefully uh, you're seeing a lot of these uh, characteristics in your life. Here's some warning signs. Uh, do I uh, live in isolation? How about this? Do I hold grudges? Uh, do I avoid others and problems? Am I a gossip? Am I divisive? Am I exclusive? Am I inconsistent in my lifestyle and attitudes and actions? Am I a constant critic? Uh, do I seek to just be a consumer or a contributor? Uh, and do I expect the church to serve me without me serving? And so, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, if you're like me, there's, there's probably areas that you need to work on. And... Uh, as I've heard before, in the room of improvement, there was always room. So uh, this is not meant, meant to be an, a discouragement, but more encouragement. Let's take some steps towards the Lord, towards community, being together in one spirit, one mind and purpose, striving side by side for the gospel. And so let me pray for us, and then we have one more announcement, and then we will wrap it up. God, thank you for your love for us. Thank you, God, that we are not a finished product. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in this area of community. So help us, Lord, to uh, just take one step closer to you. Uh, help us to grow more and more deeper with one another as well. And uh, Lord, I pray that these next four weeks, God, that we would be uh, more uh, committed to the body of Christ, more committed to growing in community. And so we love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. certainly won't stop you. There ain't no way you're ever going to play. Not here. He just might make it. Make it. I just hope he lives. Why are you wasting your time working with that kid? 
Well, he wants it more than him. If I can teach my son how to walk, I can teach you these steps. You just got your butt kicked by a walk-on. That is no walk-on. The Lord knows that you've worked harder than anybody else on and off the field. You are living proof that when you do the right things, good stuff happens. And you have done everything right. Of all people, how does that make any sense? His life meant something. It had to. I've never met better man than your brother. He believed that if he worked hard and did everything he was supposed to, God would make everything turn out for the best. Didn't everything turn out for the best, Marty? Have faith, Marty. This is my road. How bad do you want it? Real bad! How bad? Real bad! How bad? Real bad! So uh, we are really excited uh, tonight. We are having our first in-person meeting. Uh, we are having an outdoor movie night. Uh, we are going to be watching the movie Greater, and the movie is going to start at 8.30 p.m. Uh, we are really looking forward to seeing you guys tonight, and uh, have a great one.